guys, welcome to the TFC Live, a look ahead. My name is Rachel Benetta, I'm joined with Sean Kay. So Sean, a little bit of a, a tough weekend in um, Salt Lake City, down 3 nothing. You were there, can you give us a little bit of information on uh, what was going on or how the boys were feeling? Yeah, uh, it was a it was a tough loss. Obviously, the the boys felt it. Uh, it was a quiet dressing room and stuff. But you know, you going into the the season, and if you say in the first three games you have six points, you won in Seattle, uh, you beat uh, DC in your home opener, and you lost to Salt Lake, you'd sort of expect it. So it's just another loss. You weren't going to win all thirty four games. So you just got to pick up and move to the next game, which is in Columbus, which is going to be another tough one. They're three and zero right now. Uh, they're firing on on all cylinders. But I think that midfield is available to be taken. Uh, they have Tony Chani and uh, Will Trapp in the center. Uh, I think that uh, if uh, it'll be a Bradley uh, Osorio or, or whoever in the middle, I think that they can win that battle. Uh, and, yeah, just sort of move forward to Columbus. I mean, it is only the third game. Nothing to really worry about, obviously. We're the best that we've ever started with, so that's definitely something to still be really stoked about. And it's the beginning of the season, and it's still awesome. Yeah, you're, nobody's ever going to win 34 straight, so it's just something that's going to happen. You move forward, and you learn from your mistakes. Absolutely. So something else that is happening, uh, Michael Bradley got called out to the UN's men's national team. He's going to be playing Mexico on Wednesday, so uh, he doesn't have Twitter, but we can all be sending him uh, some good vibes and all that stuff. Um, and another thing, uh, All for One is airing the new episode April 3rd. It is going to be on Sportsnet at 5.30 and uh, TSN2 at 7 o'clock, so I'm sure you guys can catch either one of those, and you can get caught up on our YouTube channel. All of the previous episodes are up to watch. They're available. They're amazing to watch, so make sure you guys are not missing those. Yeah, and just uh, make sure that maybe if you don't catch those two, there's a chance you'll probably get it on YouTube the next day or so. So if you missed those two, don't worry about it. It'll probably be back on television in the next couple days as well. And uh, yeah, just check out our YouTube page. Yeah, and also, again, we're playing Columbus this weekend, so my 6 and 60 is going to be out on Thursday, and I'm going to tell you all the stuff you guys need to know, where to watch it, what time to watch it, what food to eat while you're watching, probably not, but uh, something along those lines. And uh, we'll talk to you guys real soon on Saturday. Sounds good, and I just look forward to seeing what wacky way you uh, you set up this, uh, this 60. <laughs> I haven't planned it out yet, but I'm sure it's going to be really weird, just like all the other ones. Perfect. Thanks, Rachel. Okay. Bye.